Hi, I'm over to all seeing camera. We are back to the channel with another one doing a quick reaction video to Kodak Black and Rod Wave. I just saw this today. My recommended it came out two days ago. I actually missed it. I haven't even seen that it came out. The thumbnail looks insane on itself. So I was like, nah, we got to watch this. I got to react. I'm actually interested on seeing it. it got 2.3 mil in two days. Also, though, Rod Wave, I feel like he has a lot to do with the numbers. I'm not trying to sleep on Kodak. You know, Kodak, my guy. When y'all was sleeping on his last two albums, I'm telling y'all, bugging, playing feeling peach every day like playing all these tracks every single day but i'm just saying rod wave his fan base is really building quickly at that like it's building quickly seeing his fans like really holding it down for him no bullshit which is always dope to see when there's a new artist and his fan base is really riding for him <laughs> shout out to xx and that's young kodak black featuring rod wave before i go official video <laughs> Shout out to Drew. Cause I, I remember seeing that little, if Drew didn't film it, then it ain't filmed right in the early, early, early Juan W. Melly videos and shit. And I fucked with his videos even back then in the hood. But he really blew up, like he's making movies today. Shout out to you, I love seeing people grow. Kinda graphic, it's dope though. With the blood dripping on the roses, like creative shot, a little creepy, but I like it. There's something about it, I fuck with it, I like it. If y'all hear water in the background or anything, my dog's getting groomed. I was kinda thinking about that as we continued recording today. But I was on fire, I didn't want to stop. I'm like, yo, I hope we don't hear my dog slipping and sliding all through the bathtub in the back. But let's keep going, we're already in too deep. Funeral, funeral. Got the <laughs> This was the thumbnail. The thumbnail was him in his red background holding a crow in his arm. I was like, nah, we gotta see what the hell's going on. This should look crazy. This scene itself, though, I, it looks wild. Whoever did it, like, whoever set this up, this is a fire scene. No bullshit. Shout out to you, whoever set this scene up. Yo, I don't know how I feel about Kodak's chain. That's just kind of tough, though. I don't know. I, kinda, I like it. It's weird, but I like it. That solid gold heart, I like it. No, no bullshit. I like that solid gold heart. I've never seen something like that. I like that. I don't know why, but they be trying to kill me. Can't let nobody take me away from my children. Can't let nobody take me away from these millions. Yeah, nobody can take that from Kodak. Every time that people out here talking about the money spread and shit, the most iconic money spread is this right here. What y'all seeing right here is the most iconic money spread in hip hop history. No bullshit. More iconic than the money phone. More iconic than the. More iconic than the putting the money down the arm. All that. The leg. The Kodak leg money spread is different. No bullshit. That's the only money spread I'll do. If I was gonna do a money spread, the only one I'm doing is the Kodak black. Y'all already know when somebody say I'm gonna do the Kodak Black, that should be that shit should be trademark. Shout outs to you, Kodak, for such an iconic move. Trying to get niggas to be bosses just so we can do that Kodak Black up our leg. Damn, you see how fucked up my priorities are? <laughs> Unless I'm tripping, I don't think this is on one of his albums. Unless I'm tripping, but this shit's a smacker. Like, hold on, I, I gotta check. Cause I'm rocking with this heavy. I'm like, yo, is this on one of these albums that just dropped regularly? Cause I've been, there's no way. I've been playing these shits heavy. But I have been playing a lot of the same songs too. So, right away, if not before I go, it's not. I should just smack it. Just had to add it. We're only 58 seconds in, it just already got added. I'm fucking with the song. With the vibe that Kodak already had going, with the everybody gonna dab before I go, go. I already knew Rod Wade was gonna come in here, pick that bitch up off the backboard, and just. Rah! No, I don't even matter. I'm happy that Rod Wave is heavy set. I feel like that's why he sings so well. I feel like that's why he sings so well. No bullshit. That shit has a lot to do with it. Yo, well, I thought this was Ish from the Joe Budden podcast real quick. I'm like, oh shit, my nigga Ish got a cameo in the Kodak Black video? That I see you, Joe's really putting the work in, but then nah. Uh, he lifted his head up, I'm like, oh shit, that's not ish, that's not ish, that's not ish. I've been 
I gotta correct myself too. I think in the beginning of this shit, I called this bird a crow. It's a vulture. I don't know. I just thought about them. Like, yo, I'm, you definitely called this shit a crow throughout this video sometime, somewhere. I'm pretty sure I did. And if I did, I'm bugging. It's a vulture. And this shit is gross. Like, what is this eating? A mouse or some shit? This shit is really disgusting. It's a dope shot, but it's gross. That was dope. That's clips from when Kodak Black was walking around the hood, passing out ACs on that hot ass day in the South <clears throat> in Florida. That was dope. That's fire. Yo, I don't know. Y'all be hearing me talking shit about a lot of sneakers too. I don't fuck with designers, but the Balenciagas he got on this video, I believe they called the Balenciaga tracks. Yeah, they called the Balenciaga track trainers. Them shits is fire, no bullshit. My pain not 95. Fuck no. But they dope. I like them. They smooth sneakers. I like that little boy, man. My little youngest say he probably dying to live. The vibe on this is the flow on this shit. Not no bullshit. They had dynamic duo on this one. I don't know why, but they plotting to kill me. Nah, they killed this one together. No bullshit. Rod Wave and Kodak Black, congratulations. Y'all murdered this song. Homie got let out of jail, good shit. Shout out to you. Damn, what they let him out with two bills in his hand? He got he got bills? That shit was dope, man. This shit was dope. So, you know, people struggling in the hood, had the moms with the bills on the table, had the nigga come out of jail, they gave him a bill. Like, that's fucked up. I don't know what he had in his hand, but it looked like bills. It's fucked up. Pots was dirty, no food being cooked. I feel it. And it just gave you that struggle. You can feel the hunger in this song. You can feel the struggle. And it's crazy because there's two artists that are well, well, well established already. You get me? I get it. Rod Wave's still coming up. But his fan base is blowing up crazy. I don't even listen to Rod Wave too much. But... I see his name everywhere. I see his music everywhere. I see it always top streaming. I listen to him. I, like I just don't listen to him enough. I got. I got. I got to get myself more educated on his discography. I'm gonna start listening to his music. No bullshit. We'll probably react to something to him on this channel. But guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did you like the video? Did you not like the video? I liked it. I'm not gonna lie to you. It wasn't much for me to say. I love the scene with the little red backdrop. It had the the vulture inside. I'm not sure if that was eating a rat or rabbit or what, but it was kind of it was a, little, a little too graphic for me. But it was fire. I like it. I'm a fan of Kodak Black, bro. I've been a fan of Kodak Black easily since like 2016, Project Baby to 15. Whenever Skirt and all that was coming out, I was educated. No flocking, I was educating myself. I was listening to all that shit. When he first hit the streets, I was listening to Kodak Black. Am I still a fan today? Yes, I am. I wish I, I wish Kodak can give us a complete year of just straight music. I know he can do it. Good albums. And I feel like his ranking should go up in this hip-hop game. I still feel like he's underrated, no bullshit. As crazy as that is to say, I still feel like Kodak Black is underrated amongst his peers today. Compared to that class 2016 where he was at in 2016, I thought he would have been way bigger today. I thought he would have been getting Uzi flowers today, no bullshit. But guys... Comment below, let me know what you think. Did you like the song? Did you not? Did you like the video? I liked Rod Wave, I liked Kodak. They matched perfect together on this song. And like I love to say, until the next one, we out of here.